There's not much that James Tedesco is bad at. His smooth swing at today's pro-am at Bonnie Doon was a standout. On the eve of the 2023 season, refreshed and relaxed, Tedesco, arguably the game's best player, revealed the secret to his enormous success. We're not content. No, I never, wanted, never content. And I think that's what's made me uh, be successful. I've never really been content with, with how I'm going or, or where, am I, where I am as a player. And Teddy isn't afraid to pinpoint where he wants to improve. For me, myself, I want to get better as a leader. I want to be the best captain. I want to lead us to success and premierships. And, you know, I've been captain now for the last three years and, we, you know, we've made the finals, but we haven't got to a grand final or haven't tasted premierships, so that's that's definitely driving me at the moment. Am I harsh on the team if I say it's a failure unless you make the grand final? Well, at the club, we, yeah, we want to win premierships, so that'll be a failure for us. Tedesco says he's been driven to get better from within. Can you get better? Yeah, definitely. I think I, I, don't, I, would, I wouldn't put myself on the ceiling. I always want to improve and get better, and you know, even guys coming through. So while got young guys that are pushing you to get better. And Teddy has a warning for the rest of the competition when it comes to the 19-year-old Joseph Suali. I'm loving Joey. He's, he's, um, he's getting better and better, so I'm excited to see him you know, dominate the competition, uh, which I'm sure he will do. Can he dominate it? Can he dominate it? Definitely. Suali is a fullback in waiting, but don't expect the man who's the Blues and Australian number one to exit early from the Roosters to make way for him. Tedesco is exploring a contract extension. Ideally, that would be that would be great to, to end my career at the Roosters, but I've still got plenty to go, Danny, so I'm just taking it one year at a time at the moment. How many years you got left, you reckon? I don't know. What have I got? I've got two, two at the moment, so I feel like if I can extend another couple and, and see how I'm feeling. Again, it's just I'll know when I'm, I'm not hitting my best, but at the moment I feel like I'm still in my peak. Danny Widler, Nine News. Well, despite a disappointing end to the 2022 season, the Sharks have plenty of faith in coach Craig Fitzgibbon, extending his contract for a further three years. Already signed until the end of 2024, his new deal takes him through to 2027, a strong show of support after just a year in the job. Meantime, new Tigers captain Api Korosau says Tim Sheens has already laid down the law and instilled a strong culture of discipline at Concord. That didn't stop the cheeky hooker having a crack at his coach, who's returned to the NRL after a 10-year absence. The new Tiger King hanging out with the Cubs. Appy Corusau at Ultimo Public School, taken down by a 10-year-old. Uh, I got challenged to a push-up challenge. Um, I lost. The student's youthful energy may have rubbed off on Coruscant, who could be in the bad books after this jab at 72-year-old coach Tim Sheens. Yeah, I think the last time he coached um, was in, like, 1876 or something back then. But, um, you know, the game's changed a little bit, but the fundamentals are the same, and he's got Benji Marshall there to, to, to help him out. In reality, there's enormous respect for Sheens in Tiger Town, his old-school methods keeping players in check. Probably the biggest thing for myself is his detail. Um, he's, he's very detailed about how he wants things done. And um, I think the good thing about that is everyone knows where the line is. Um, so, you know, they don't cross it. Coruscant will sit out Sunday's trial against Canberra, but is not in doubt for round one. Just a tight calf, just pulled up a training and, um, yeah, all precautionary at this point. Luke Brooks will also miss the match with a calf injury. The Tigers' new halfback hooker combination won't get a chance to play together before the season starts. He's such a good guy and, and to see him all through the media, you know, getting hammered left, right and centre, it's, yeah, it definitely doesn't seem fair and, you know, I'm going to do what I can to help him, but um, ultimately I think he's going to help himself a lot this year. Luke Duffersey, Nine News.